Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Natalie Certain, the Arison announcer and racing analyst from Cars 3. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So Natalie is one of the announcers for the Arson Network and is also the co-host of Chicks Picks with Chick Hicks, hosted by Chick Hicks himself. And in 2016, they 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 dis made a discussion about Jackson Storm and how next gen racers are dominating the Piston Cup circuit due to their aerodynamics and speed and tire pressure and weight distributing. And how veteran stock cars were being displaced by their sponsors. And in another scene, in Natalie stated that Jackson Storm had had set a new record at Florida International Speedway before the Florida 500, making his winning chances of 95.2% and Lightning McQueen's winning chances 1.2%, and stated that numbers never lie, and stated and predicted that Lightning McQueen's racing career would be over in a week, or maybe right now. Then, then at the Florida 500, at Florida International Speedway, Natalie, Natalie, along with her fellow broadcasters, Bob Cutlass and Daryl Cartrip, broadcasted the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway, and at the end, and when when they saw Cruz Ramirez entering, joining the racing circuit, she she discovers that she had one win at a non-piston cup track called Thunder Hollow Speedway, which was the the home of the Crazy A races. Although Thunder Hollow used to be a Piston Cup track, which Le Lightning McQueen's mentor Doc Hudson raced on, and after Cruz won the, ra the race against Storm, leaving him in second place, all three announcers were, were amazed by her her performance, and she commented, heck of a win. And she was also, and she was also one of the playable characters in the Cars 3 video game, Cars 3 Driven to Win. She is a maroon Tesla Model S four-door sedan, and was voiced by Kerry Washington. So now, let's dig right in. Here we've got her smirking facial expression, her headlights, no grill, no tampos, just her side view mirrors, and her four doors, and her chrome silver rims on her black wall tires, and the exhaust pipes, and the tail lights, and the license plate saying, K01 slash 31W and on the right side some were designed but completely different and that is it so now let's compare her to the other Arsene announcers we've got Chick Hicks with headset or should I say Arsene Chick Hicks Bob Cutlass Daryl Cartrip and Brent Mustangberger, and some of the other four-door sedans. We've got Skip Richter,
Jonathan Renschwartz, the RPM crew chief, race official Tom, Carlo Maserati, and Christina Wheeler. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which R Sen announcer is your Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing. During her diecasts released, nieces, she was first released as a single and then in a two pack with Chick Hicks with a headset and a and the second time, but this time in a five pack with Murray Clutchburn, Ponchy Wipeout, and Lane Locke, who is a rare, extremely very rare car to get, and again, and was released as a single again in 2018. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Arsene announcer is your favorite, and which four-door sedan is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos and consider the support by viewing and subscribing to my channel. And, as well as leaving, making a suggestion of which car of the past from the car collection video in the comments down as well. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!